Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Today's devotional is titled, Gabrielle Monarca, is brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. Our biblical base today comes from Revelations 26. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. Amen. A faithful and exemplary servant, Gabriel Monarca's life was clear evidence of what the Lord can do with the lives of the simple and humble men, but with transformed hearts and willingness to dedicate their lives and everything they possess to the cause of their master, Jesus Christ. A faithful and devoted for the work of the Lord placed him today on the highest rungs of honor. He was baptized in water in 1977. In April of 81, he became a missionary. In 1982, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit, and his message says this, Multiply your talents. Will you be able to win with the things of this world that perish and save your soul? He who renounces himself and all the things he possesses, he will be able to be my disciple. Have you done the same? By my mercy, I have accepted and received you. Work for me, and your payment will be eternal happiness. Monarca, repent, come, and dwell in me. He worked as a crusader, carrying the message and raising funds for the construction of churches and pastoral houses. He worked as a missionary in Los Angeles, California, Tucson, Arizona, and eventually Austin, Texas. In that place, he began a special work. They acquired a property and prepared a place to live in the congregation that became one of our locations in the United States. It was there that he retired. His work will continue with him and with all of us who knew him. His unconditional service was the product of his gratitude to his faithful creator. A great missionary who embodied humility, his consecration and service are the inheritance that today he leaves for all of us who had the happiness and the pleasant satisfaction of knowing him. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may we be encouraged by the life of Gabriel. May we understand that we don't have to be high and lofty. We don't have to be famous or somebody with status and education and money or land. We just have to be simple and humble men and women ready and willing to serve the Lord with a consecrated heart. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.